climate in Indian context. Climate and weather The state of atmospheric conditions over an area at a particular point of time refers to weather. Climate refers to such conditions over a large area and follows a similar general pattern over many years. On the basis of these generalized condition, the year is divided into seasons. The elements of weather and climate are temperature, atmospheric pressure, wind, humidity and precipitation. The pattern of these for a place can be shown using pictures called climographs or climatographs. Climographs of a few places in India. The climographs below show that temperature and rainfall vary in different parts of the country. Factors influencing climate and weather. The factors that affect climate are called climatic controls. These include latitude, land water relationship, relief, upper air circulation, latitude or distance from the equator, the average temperatures for the year drop, the further an area is away from the equator. For this reason, we divide the regions on the earth as tropical, those close to the equator, polar as those close to the poles, temperate as those in between these two extremes. The temperature of the atmosphere at a particular place near the Earth's surface depends upon the isolation received at that location. This is more instance in the low than in the high latitudes. As we move away from the equator towards the poles, the average annual temperature decreases. In India, the southern part lies in the tropical belt close to the equator. Owing to this, the region has higher average temperature than the northern part. Land Water Relationship The amount of sunlight that is first absorbed and then radiated back or directly reflected depends on the nature of the surface. Darker areas such as heavily vegetated regions tend to be good absorbers. Lighter areas such as snow and ice covered regions tend to be good reflectors. The ocean absorbs and losses heat more slowly than land. This affects climate in many ways. A large part of southern India, because of its long coast line, comes under the moderating influence of the sea. As such, the difference between the temperature of the day and night and also that of summer and winter is not much. This is known as equilibrium climate. Relief. We learnt that temperature decreases as altitude increases. Therefore, relief or altitude of a region influences the climate of the area. For this, several hill stations of Himalayan regions like Shimla, Gulmarg, Nainital and Darjeeling as places that have a cool climate even during the peak summer months. Upper Atmospheric Circulation In the Northern Hemisphere, subtropical high pressure belts gives rise to permanent winds. They blow towards the equatorial low pressure belts 
by reflecting towards the west and are called trade winds. The climate of India is also affected by the movement of upper air air currents known as jet streams. A jet stream causes the atmosphere around this to cool. This cooling effect of the easterly jet streams causes rain from clouds already found over this latitude 25 degree north. Seasons Winter The temperature in Indian landmass considerably reduces from the mid-November and this cool season continues till February. Sometimes temperature drops below 10 degrees Celsius in several parts of the country. However, the cold weather is more pronounced in northern India. During winter, the weather is generally pleasant in clear sky, low humidity and cool breeze. Cyclone depressions coming from Mediterranean Sea called western disturbances and cause low to moderate rainfall over northern India. India lies in the trade wind belt of northern hemisphere northeast traders below over India from land to sea and are therefore dry. However, some amount of rainfall occurs on the Coromandel coast of Tamil Nadu from these winds as they pick up moisture from Bay of Bengal while crossing it. Summer During the hot seasons, as we move from southern to northern part of the country, the average temperature increases. The northern plain experiences dry and hot winds called loo. Towards the end of the summer seasons, pre-monsoon showers are common in the Deccan Plateau. These help in the early ripening of mangoes and other plantation crops in peninsular India. Advancing Monsoon The climate of India is strongly influenced by the monsoon winds. The sailors used these winds to sail towards the Indian coast. Arab traders named this season Reversal of Wind System Monsoon. The monsoon forms in the tropical area approximately between 200 north and 200 south latitudes. The southeast trade winds from the southern hemisphere carry moisture as they flow over the Indian Ocean and towards the equatorial low pressure zones. After crossing the equator, these winds deflect westwards towards the low pressure formed in the Indian subcontinent. Then they flow as the southwest monsoon the Indian Peninsula divides them into two branches, the Arabian Sea branch and the Bay of Bengal branch. The Arabian Sea branch arrives at the west coast of India and moves northward. The Bay of Bengal branch strikes the Bengal coast and the southern face of the Shillong Plateau. Both the branches reach India by the beginning of June, which is known as the onset of monsoon. They gradually spread over the entire country in four to five weeks. The bulk of the annual rainfall in India is received from the southwest monsoon. The amount of rainfall is very high along the west coast due to the western guards in and in the northeast India due to the high peaked hills. Retreating Monsoon The retreat of the monsoon is marked by clear skies and rise in temperature. The land is still moist owing to the condition of a high temperature and humidity. The weather becomes rather oppressive. 
This is commonly known as October heat. The low pressure conditions which once prevailed over the northwestern India get transferred to the center of the Bay of Bengal by early November. The shift of the low pressure area is far south. The period is associated with the occurrence of cyclonic depressions which originated over the Andaman area. These tropical cyclones are often very destructive. The thickly populated deltas of the Godavari, Krishna and Kaveri are their reflected targets. Global Warming and Climate Change As Earth started to take shape from fairy ball to a planet, many gases were released. These gases did not escape into outer space because of the Earth's gravitational pull. It still holds them back. A thin layer of gases surrounds Earth and provides as several important benefits. For example, the oxygen that we breathe, the ozone that protects us from the harmful ultraviolet rays from the sun, the nitrogen that our plants use to make proteins that we need, the medium through which fresh water is circulated and keep us warm. The atmosphere traps a lot of solar energy that reaches Earth by preventing it from totally escaping back into the space. This is called greenhouse effect. This is important and vital for life to survive on this planet. However, since the 19th century, the planet is warming up very rapidly. Earlier cycles of cooling and warming happening over very long periods of time. This allowed life on Earth the time to adapt to a changes. The problems now is that the heating is much more rapid and could lead to catastrophic changes. Much of the warming that has been occurring since the industrial revolution is because of human activities. Hence the current global warming trends is called AGW. AGW and climate change. AGW is causing many changes in the distribution of heat in the earth system. When the redistribution system is disrupted weather and climate patterns change. Long-term changes happen from the accumulation of short-term changes. An international organization called Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change IPCC, was formed to address this issue. It has held many conferences to work out a treaty among the nations of the world to reduce AGW and try to slow down the process of climate change. None of these have been successful. Broadly, the disagreements are between the developed countries and developing countries. Developed countries want developing countries to cut down on burning coal and other activities that added greenhouse gases at the atmosphere. Developing countries say that their economic development will be seriously damaged if they do not burn fossil fuels and that developed countries should do their fair share of work to help find alternatives that can help the developing countries to progress. One of the human activities that contributes to global warming is deforestation. Impact of change in India Though a rise of 2 degrees Celsius in average temperature may appear to be small, 
it would result in a rise of 1 meter in sea levels by early next century. This would affect large portions of our coastal areas and millions of people would have to be shifted. They would lose their livelihood. The other effect would be no rainfall. This is likely to be more erect and lead to a greater imbalances. Some places are likely to receive excess rainfall whereas others would get less than normal. Hence droughts and floods are expected to increase. This would greatly affect the agricultural pattern and people's livelihood. The climate change is something that happens at the global level. Therefore, it affects all of us. My video can come in a chin at like a like chindi share chindi. Elanti Marini videos kosum. My channel is subscribe chess code matra machipokandi. Thank you for watching.